Hey everyone, this is Stevie here, and today we are going to be making this chair. Now, last time I made this video, we did it super simple, and it was just a box, and it seemed like a lot of people liked that video, so I'm going to be remaking it, but with a little bit of a more advanced technique, so that we can get this curvature in here a little bit. So, first things first, we're going to be taking a look at our height. That's 96 centimeters. Now, we want to check our document settings here, so we're going to scroll down there, and it says inches. We're actually going to change that to millimeters and select OK. Now 960 centimeters or millimeters, my bad, I'm already doing the math. 996 centimeters is actually 960 millimeters. And so everything here is just multiplied by 10. So we're going to create a sketch and we're going to draw that height. Click on our line, turn construction on and draw a line. Isn't that perfect? <laughs> Not quite, but first we're going to give it some constraints. So horizontal vertical. Then we are going to go to the midpoint here. Click there and there, and now we've got it there. So we're going to press D for dimension, drag that out and type in, we needed, I believe, 960. Yep, so 960. Now, let's say I wanted my curve to have a 10 centimeter gap here, so that's 100 millimeters. So I'm going to draw out another 100 millimeter line there. That's already dimensioned. And now we're going to create our arc. So a three point arc. Oops, I accidentally uh, clicked out of it. So I'm going to go back there and select it again. Turn off construction. And then click on my two endpoints and my midpoint there. It's perfect. So, see how it's blue, it's not fully constrained. If we just go here and give that dimension now, it's fully constrained. Next thing we're going to do is offset this by 50 millimeters. After that, I'm going to go here and draw a line that connects from here to there. And I'm gonna do that top and bottom. From there to there. And then to get rid of these little pieces there, I'm just going to trim that. So you just click and drag with the trim tool to delete it. <coughs> so now next thing, we want our seat. So I'm going to draw another line. It's going to again be a construction line out from there to here. On this uh, mid section here. And we're going to look at the length and we want it to be 41 centimeters, which if you did the quick math is 410 millimeters. So now that we have this, I'm going to draw two lines, making sure that they're just here, and another one down here somewhere, and there we go. Now I'm going to click on this horizontal vertical constraint, and I'm going to do these two and this one. And then I'm going to connect here to here with a line segment, and then from here to here with another line. Now it is blue so we can actually extrude that however I want to give this some dimensions first I'm going to make this 50 and then I'm going to make this and this be equal so now we have our fully dimensioned seat so we're going to work on the front legs so all I'm gonna do is click here highlight this or not highlight it but hover over it drag all the way back till it's vertical and then just go out by, let's say, 50 millimeters. That looks good to me. And we're done. So this is our chair. What we're going to do now is extrude the whole thing. So I'm just going to highlight it all and extrude it by, let's see, 48 centimeters, which is 480 millimeters. Now here we have it. We want to get some separate legs. So what we're going to do is create a sketch on this face here. I'm just going to draw a rectangle and I want these legs to be square and I know that I gave the side of them 50 millimeters so I'm going to do that for these two so clicking on these corners and typing out 50 and then from the seat bottom I want it to be a hundred oopsies I didn't type a hundred there we go and finish that sketch I'm going to extrude this all the way through and press OK now it's looking like a proper chair. The only other thing I want to do is draw on this back here. Um, so I want to actually cut some parts out of this. So what we'll do then 
is just create an offset plane. So we can do that with a tangent plane. So here's the tangent plane and we're actually going to just angle it so that it is vertical again. And that looks perfect to me. It's just 10 degrees. So now we're going to create a sketch on this plane here and we're going to draw, well actually we can't draw yet. I want to project this geometry here. So I'm going to go to create, project, and press P. So I want to include this whole thing so that way I have a reference from where I can put the bottom of my rectangles. But I'm going to highlight that all and press X so that it's all construction lines. Now I'm going to draw a symmetry line, so I'm going to press X again, find that midpoint there, and just draw up. That's good for me. And now I'm going to draw a rectangle. So I want this rectangle to be, let's say, um, 50 millimeters from the top. And I also want it to be... 50 millimeters from the side and from the middle here. That looks good to me. So now I'm going to click on mirror and I'm going to mirror this box that I just drew. Oops. And I'm going to mirror it around this line here. Press OK and then finish the sketch. I'm going to press extrude, click on these two and just drag it backward. And just like that, we have our seat. So this is an actually proper looking seat. It's got a nice little curve to it. Looks a lot closer to what this one does. And hopefully you guys enjoy it. There's obvious techniques that you can apply to it to make it a little bit more refined now. For instance, we can fillet it. So we can just bring those down like that and so many different things. This was brought to you by Mantis 3D Printers. If you wanted to, you could print this now. It's as simple as saving it as an STL, but first we'd have to shrink it. If you'd like to see that and see it be printed on our Mantis 3D printer, just leave a comment down below and we'll make it happen. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you later.